hello friends today in this tutorial i will be telling you a working example of async and await in uh, javascript so for this i will be fetching a, a a users a list of users from github api i have created an index.html file and here you just need to write a simple html file here let me give a head tag to it and inside this we will be giving a simple title async and uh, await api call to github like this and inside the body we don't have to write any kind of body so body will be empty and now the business part is the javascript so inside the script tag i will be making a async function in order to declare an async function you need to declare this async keyword in front of the function and uh, here we just need to uh, fetch data let's suppose this is a function name and here we j in order to define this function here we need to write this await keyword so await keyword is only valid inside the async function and here we will be using the fetch function which is available in order to fetch data from a api so this returns a promise so here we just need to define the api endpoint so this is uh, api dot github dot com sla slash users so basically this will return a list of users to us and now as you know that it returns a promise so we can handle this by inside this function by dot then this promise so this will have uh, a response here which will be coming here from the api so first of all we need to convert this response into json so we can just write here response.json in order to convert this response into json again this will return a promise we can handle this by dot then like this and now this response will be console logging it like this console log response and now if i re refresh the application you will see nothing because if I just reload the application you will see nothing on the console because we haven't called this function which is async function we need to call this also on the next line I can call this function hello like this and now if I refresh the application you will see uh, it is saying to me hello is not defined sorry this function name is fetch data not hello so fetch data and now if I refresh the application you will see a set of 30 users are returned to us from the github api if I check one of the users here you can see that so now we are successfully fetching data from an api using async and await you can see that this is the first way and now the second way is pretty simple because we need not have to handle this uh, dot then here inside this we can also handle this when calling this function so we can just delete it from here all this stuff here and what we can do here is that we can just store this reference inside a variable let's suppose response like this and I can just return this response here from this function like this return response so basically this will return a promise and now when we call this function we need to handle this by dot then so dot then we need to handle function response the same thing that I did for previously I will be handling this first of all I will converting it to JSON by calling the JSON method like this and th then again it will be returning a promise this time we will be console logging the data like this console log response and we can also handle the error by dot catch so if any kind of error take place we can just uh, console log the error like this so this is the overall uh, example guys so now if I refresh the application the same result will be returned to me you can see that 30 results are returned to me so you can either handle it inside the function or you can also handle when calling the function like this fetch data dot then dot then dot catch and now let's suppose I make a mistake here let's suppose I provide a wrong URL then you will see that it will return the error here you will see that it will console log the error uh, it is not catching this error so I think that you can see that it is saying to me that uh, you can see that it vanishes you can see that fail to fetch and now if I correct this URL let's suppose if I make github here and now it will work fine here you can see that 
fail to fetch you can see that 30 users are returned to me so this was a basic example of calling an api external api using async and await example so thanks very much for watching this video